Okay, quick video here on how to use barcodes with your Xero accounting software. Uh, we get a lot of questions wondering whether you can use barcodes with Xero. So I'm just going to give you a quick demo here of how to do that and show you that it can be done. First of all, if I just scan a barcode I've got into Xero and press enter, you can add items to an invoice easily uh, scanning barcodes. Um, so what we're going to do is show you kind of how to get to this point. Um, we're using a couple things here. First of all, we're using a scanner uh, that we've set up here at AccuWare. Uh, you can give us a call to get more information about the scanner or find it on our store. But basically, it's been set up to work with Xero with uh, settings. Uh, and the other thing we've done is we're using a label connector here uh, that's integrated to Xero. And what Label Connector allows you to do is you can print labels using any of your Xero items, uh, your invoices or your purchase orders. And we're going to be um, adding more transactions to this, uh, uh, to the various Xero transactions that are available for printing labels. But it comes with a complete label designer. So we've created just this quick and easy barcode label. Uh, that, that's the one we're scanning. And you can drag out data sources from zero right onto this label uh, to make uh, the kind of label that contains the barcodes that you need to scan. But the, the overall lesson here is that um, you need to use the item name from zero in the barcode, not the item code, and then scan that barcode into zero. So basically what Label Connector gives you is the ability to uh, quickly and easily make barcodes from your zero data and I'll show you just one way to do that. Uh, you can just bring in all your products and services. We can sync those quickly and then sh present the list and then basically if you just you know select one of the items that you want to print a label for, uh, let's say we want to print this one, you can print in various ways here. I got to open up the uh, Go ahead and just print for that item. Now we've made a barcode here for that zero item. You see the 45784. So basically, um, but it actually has to be, um, the barcode has to be for the item name value. And that's the key here to this video, is to make barcodes using the zero name. So we do recommend that you make items where maybe the code and the name are short, but then you can be uh, verbose in the descriptions all you want, but if you want to have tighter barcodes that fit on smaller labels, you, you're going to want to use a, a shorter name here, but you can use longer uh, names to print a label, but I'll show you the result of doing that. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that again. And you'll see here it made it made a much more extensive barcode with a lot more lines. This is less likely to fit onto a smaller label that you may want to use, but it will work. So. Um, and you can also use a QR code type uh, barcode, and we can show you how to do that if you're interested in going that method to keep, if you want to use long item names. But we can, um, you'll see in the description of this video how to get a hold of us so we can get into more detail with you. But basically, um, if I scan, you know, either one of those barcodes that I just made, and you see I already did that here, into this invoice, it fetches that nicely. You just press the enter key and you can quickly use this for, you know, over the counter sales transactions or to build invoices quickly by scanning barcodes. So the two steps are use Label Connector to make your labels easily out of your zero data. Once you got those barcodes on your products of the product or service name in the barcode, then you're ready to go with scanning into zero. Uh, we do have a scanner that's kind of specially configured to work better with Xero. We can get you information on that as well. Uh, see uh, in our description for more information on how to get a hold of us. Thank you.